NVIDIA preparing GT4, G, <laughs> GT4s, GT4s, GTX 980MX and 970MX mobile GPUs, uh, Maxwell-based mobile GPUs, um, which would sit between Sebastian Wright's open PC per the GTX 980M and the laptop version of the full GTX 980 with 1,664 CUDA cores uh, compared to 1,536 with 980M. That's pretty badass for a mobile device. 104 texture units up from 980M's 96, 8,048 megahertz core clock, and up to 8 gigabytes of GDDR5. Uh, apparently, it's going to have memory speed and bandwidth identical to the GTX 980M at 5,000 megahertz and 160 gigabytes per second with both mm -hmm. GPUs using a 256-bit memory bus. Um, GTX 970 MX is going to be a similar upgrade over the 970 M. So basically, it's a stepping, not a huge stepping. Um, no official announcements. When do we expect? I mean, it's kind of funny. When do we expect the next round of of gaming laptops to start showing up? That depends. So I actually think we may see that before we see or right in time with the release of the new desktop parts. So when, when AMD showed off Polaris for the first time, they showed it off as here is, you know, a part that's going to be perfect for a discrete mobile gaming solution. Right. Um, and I, and I think based on, you know, like if they're going to save their highest end parts for HBM two, then they might have to wait a little bit longer to build up inventory to kind of wait for availability and fabs and production facilities uh, and so it's possible that from both AMD and NVIDIA, we would see this kind of mainstream, what would be considered a mainstream part on the desktop side, but a fairly high-end part on the mobile side first. Um, even that then, uh, even, even considering that, I think we're talking June of this year, probably at the earliest from both parties, based on what we're hearing. I mean, and AMD pretty much came out and said, you know, June of 2016 is when we'll have parts available. Um, but I I'm kind of guessing at this point that we're not going to see the flagship parts that early. They will come in 2016, but I don't think we'll see them that early. Uh, so buying a mobile gaming machine now shouldn't be like, an, I don't think you'll be in an immediate risk for any kind of uh, vast replacement. And, you know, from an NVIDIA standpoint, the, the architectural efficiency is already there. So unless we think that there's going to be some dramatic hey, you can have this gaming laptop and also have this kind of battery life when you're not uh, mm -hmm. gaming type of thing shift. I don't, I don't think that's going to, that, that angle of it's going to shift very much. Um, but you may be able to see thinner and lighter machines that have higher power discrete gaming in them. But I don't think you'll see drastically higher performance in your mobile gaming uh, above like, you know, what NVIDIA's GTX 980 has today, which is astoundingly high, uh, high performance. Um, but the, the new MX parts just seem kind of like, uh, they're fillers in the middle. And that's kind of another indication to me that we're not going to see these replaced anytime soon because they wouldn't just put out two new SKUs to their OEMs. Mm -hmm. If, you know, in 60 days we were going to see, you know, Pascal based mobile GPUs start hitting in the market. So I, I don't think, it, I don't think it's a bad, it's a bad decision to, to go either way. <laughs> but you're, you know, it's kind of here. It's kind of there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these new, these two new parts are kind of, I, I don't really know why they needed to exist because they're both <laughs> close enough to the GTX 980M that right. I just, you wonder if it's like a binning or a product, like a sales thing, you know, or they're trying to get a little bit more money out of, out of Maxwell while they can, because the 980 is clearly significantly faster than the, the 980M or the 980MX that they just announced or are announcing apparently. Um, and the 980M is still a really good part. So you got to wonder right. what the price difference is. I don't, what they would charge OEMs. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really see the, the benefit of these releases if they do occur quite yet. <laughs> 